And now back to Spaceman from Pluto, the ride. And now that we've destroyed a perfectly good clock tower, it's time to roll back the rock to the dawn of time. And that's Hill Valley below us in the Ice Age. The Ice Age? You know, I would make jokes about this scene, but for the life of me, I can't think of an angle. So, moving on, then Doc takes... Jerk. Critic. Did the DeLorean just go back to the Ice Age? Maybe. So to recap, Christopher Lloyd was sent back to a day when everything was frozen. What do you need, a fucking roadmap? Critic, I just spent the last two weeks rounding up the other 17 me's and locking them in a bathroom stall. <laughs> If I'm to believe Doc Brown, I just twisted the entire space-time continuum into a pretzel and threw it in a Jamba Juice blender. And any minute now, my doppelgangers are gonna realize the lock is on the inside, so you'll forgive me if I have bigger fish to fry than whether or not I'm using your memes correctly! Oh, that reminds me, why didn't you put the This Is Not Over Bears line in your Country Bears review? Ah! I think that would have been darling. The engine's dead! Everybody lean back! Oh, Lee right! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, no! Hold on! Yahoo! Cool! Now can we make a pit stop to kill Stalin? For the last time, no! Hang in there, volunteers! Get it! Get it toward that volcano! Figures, no matter how far I travel back in time, something always has thoughts for me. You know... can only be the most terrifying, most gruesome, most nightmare-inducing, <laughs> hand puppet ever made. <laughs> yeah, much as I've harped on CGI in the past, there's things it does better. This thing still has a certain handmade charm to it, but it's no longer scary. Hell, it wasn't even the scariest T-Rex in the park for very long. Like the mighty T-Rex itself, time has not been kind to this poor fellow. Or to put it another way... I'M A MEDIOCRE T-REX! T there, I finally used one of your memes, Critic. Happy now? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was too busy yelling at Film Brain. For the last time, I'm not Film Brain! I'm not even British! I'll decide who's British! Quick, four feet of the brain grain! Ah! When I eat you, it's like I'm eating my brother. Somehow, Biff avoids falling into a huge pile of dino manure. <laughs> but then his flux capacitor gives out. It's a long, a long time! Help me! Hang on, Biff! Did Biff just say Facebook me? Biff. I think you stayed in 2015 too long. Holy shit, he's a Mormon? So Biff gets enough likes for us to finally save his ass by bumping his car and creating a time vortex that sends us crashing into a brand name. And the employees of the Institute committed Biff to a mental institution where he spent the rest of his days ranting about flying cars and dinosaur puppets and hallucinating Doc's face everywhere. <laughs> And that was the last anyone ever heard from the legendary Biff Tannen. The manure-hating douchebag whose manure-hating douchebagginess transcended generations through centuries and centuries of tannins in an almost Nietzschean loop of eternal recasting. No matter what you do, it will never amount to more than a drop of manure in a limitless butthead. But what is a butthead but a multitude of manure? Wait, did we not do anything? I'm not even sure we were supposed to have done! Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, what exactly was our part in all that? Doc was controlling the car remotely, across thousands of years somehow. Prehistory must have had amazing Wi-Fi. I'm gonna need you to help me navigate. And we sure did a bang-up job of that. Did he just need us to weigh the car down so it wouldn't fly up into space? Universal, you're all just bags of meat. 
At any rate, it turns out we traveled so far back in time, we changed the present completely. Among other things, George Bailey was never born, Buckbeak was put down, Mr. Peabody was put down, the Doctor stole the Supreme Being's map, the Rainmaker killed all the Loopers, Austin Powers' mojo was turned into soil and green, Ted Theodore Logan got sent to military school in Alaska where he knocked up Sarah Palin's dog and created a dog man who evolved into the Morlocks who worships Sonny 451 and used seashells for toilet paper, Bill Murray got stuck in a time warp, Tom Cruise got stuck in a time warp, again, Homer fixed his toaster, Fry had sex with his grandma, Blended wins at Globnar, Time Cop arrested Ashton Kutcher, Boglodites invaded Earth, Bowler Hat Guy's Bowler Hat enslaved the Robinsons, Turkeys prevented the first Thanksgiving, Rob Cordry joined Motley Crue, Pottersville was sued into bankruptcy by J.K. Rowling, Captain Kirk was Chris Pine, Marty McFly was Eric Stoltz, the drug dealer in Pulp Fiction was Michael J. Fox, Peyton Reed was fired from this ride and replaced by Edgar Wright, and everyone loved the results, but it's still closed, the lizard people all got existential crises, Mike Nelson was replaced by his brother Eddie, Jeff Winger rolled a one and everyone turned evil, Miranda July's cat died, some French guy reconnected with a woman he saw once, Donnie Darko... <laughs> I don't know, Skynet created the Sentinels and killed everyone, the aliens raised the dead, apes control the planet, 9-11 never happened, the Omega-13 destroyed the universe, and of course we got a tiny smidge of Doc Brown's DNA on a prehistoric mushroom, so now everything on the planet is Doc. Marty, I invented a new time machine. It runs on sand. Marty, I just realized sex with vehicles hurts your genitalia. I need to send you back to the future. On VHS. On Blu-ray. On... Laser disc. The universe will destroy the entire time paradox, Marty! Don't sell Einstein to the Nazis! There's something different about the DeLorean, Marty! I'm not sure what, what there is! I went back in time and realized there was a such thing as time travel! This is a Thanksgiving feast of not making sense! I was frozen today! Do you wanna build a snowman? Marty! Confetti! On... Video CD! Yeah, li literally, this is a- Have you ever even heard of video CD? That- that's a thing. I seem to have fused Einstein with my head, it's gone horribly wrong- Oh, he's eating me! Oh. What does yellow Great. Good evening. I'm Sock Dermot Brown. Wibbly wobbly, tummy wimey. Unless we ring up the techno babble to do the gobbly goat. Reagan? Reagan? Really, Reagan? Reagan? Reagan. 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 And now, the grand prize winner of the Show Me Your Dark Sweepstakes is gonna be announced after these commercials! Fight me! After facing the tension of doing three lung operations in a row, I like to relax by lighting up a Sir Randolph. I know its fine tobacco taste will soothe my nerves and improve my circulation. Ah, now that's the taste that relaxes Sir Randolph. We now return to Doc Talk. Look, Doc, I agree with you intellectually, but I don't see the need to bring racial epithets into it. He's from a different time. So send him back to it. No, no, allow me. Meh, potato, potato. Anyway, the grand prize winner of the Show Me Your Doc Sweepstakes is... My only regret is Oogie Loves! Note to self, the gun made out of Tito's does not work! Mmm, <gasps> but it tastes average! <laughs> Go 
forth time travelers and remember the future is what you make it. By the way, I'm still trapped in my office in case anyone's curious. Hello? I mean, I'm fine for now, but after 18 hours, I will eat the boom mic. And that's back to the future, the ride. I think it's a little overrated. Hear me out! If you couldn't tell by now, Back to the Future is my favorite film trilogy of all time, bar none. Star Wars can suck it. Lord of the Rings, boring. Toy Story was a close second back when it was a trilogy. For me, Back to the Future beats them all. Not just for the jokes, or the characters, or the action, or the intricate sci-fi plotting, but for the craft of all of the above. The first movie especially is built like a Swiss watch. Every shot, every story beat, every line of dialogue, Every last casting choice, every molecule feels fussed over to perfection and you wouldn't change a frame. A movie so dedicated to excellence, they replaced the lead actor halfway through shooting. Sure, the sequels got a little goofy. Unless you've got power! <laughs> okay, a lot goofy, but I still love the hell out of part two for its fucking weirdness and part three for its unabashed sweetness. And aside from the different Jennifers and Georges and Marty's obvious age difference, they all belong together. I look at the ride and I just don't see that level of perfectionism. I see a ton of fun, don't get me wrong, the actual ride part was probably the most exciting thing in the whole park while it lasted, but that's kinda it. Now this wouldn't be much of a problem if it was just some theme park ride, but... It's not just some theme park ride to be dismissed as an amusement. To me, it's an important cinematic experience. Yeah, it truly is a fair continuation of uh, the films. The ride is kind of, we look at it as Back to the Future 4, and it's almost like Back to the Future Part 4. Even if they had tried to sell it as just a ride, it was pretty screen heavy. The queue relied a lot on video clips to tell its backstory. Nothing wrong with that, hell, it makes my job a lot easier, but but it's just not the same as telling a story strictly within a real environment. Like it or not, it's cinema, and if it really wants to be reviewed as such, well, I just can't look past the big plot holes. Why did Doc start the Institute if he's still afraid of paradoxes? Why does Doc need us in his remote-controlled time machine? Why doesn't old Biff remember any of this shit? How does young Biff even know any of this shit? You know, the flying DeLorean. They don't even have regular DeLoreans when you come from! And why the hell are they worried about Biff in the first place? Just hire one security guard tougher than Crisp and Glover. Problem solved! I'd expect this kind of silly shit from a Bill and Ted movie, not Back to the Future. I know the trilogy had plot holes too, but never super obvious ones, except maybe all the slow news days. The ride is just kind of slapped together, but a fun kind of slapped together. Christopher Lloyd is great as always, the simulation was exciting, the set design had tons of clever touches, and the sheer scope the scope of it was worth the price alone. Though, of course, the home video release diminishes those last three, and sadly, that's the only way to see it now. In 2007, the Institute closed up shop, and to Universal's credit, they actually gave it a proper send-off, turning the countdown to its closure into a month-long event in and of itself. Come visit one last time before the ride is history. For years, the only remnants of it were the Doc Brown walk-around character and the nearby eatery, Doc Brown's Marty, and now even that's gone. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> to satiate the fans, in 2013 they added this DeLorean hero car to the NBC Universal Experience Museum thing. Boy, that would make a fun ride! For what it's worth, Universal Japan still has the original ride. Sort of. But in America, I guess the space-time continuum just couldn't take anymore. Maybe I'd have a better opinion of Back to the Future the Ride if I'd grown up with it more, but sadly I only got the chance to actually ride it once on a family vacation here. By the time I moved to LA, it was already gone. I guess that's why time travel fascinates us so much, doesn't it? We all have regrets. We all wish we could undo our mistakes and spend more time with the people and places no longer with us. It's hard not to live in the past, but sometimes, if you open your mind just wide enough, the future can hold even greater reward. Back to the Future Ride has never been looked at as cinema. Uh, it's never been considered to be a stepping stone toward a new kind of immersive entertainment. But I think someday it will be. The Institute of Future Technology is
is now closed. Nearly 61 million people have taken this wild ride and today marked the end of an era. Enjoy your final journey back to the future. I think currently the state of the art as far as you know film audience interaction goes, and I'm sure it'll be antiquated and 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 put behind itself someday by some new ride. I'm sure that'll happen. But that's a story for next time. Until then, I'll see you in the future. There he is. Get me! I'm burning this show to the ground! <laughs>
Doc Brown has moved upstairs. Hey, have either of you guys seen any Splash Mountain Fast Passes around here? Nowhere at all. No, have no. you? Sorry, I'm afraid nope. I haven't. Nope, no, we have not. <sighs> Ugly buttheads.